Welcome back to Brandon Sports Talk. In today's episode, I'm going to be talking about should college football teams have a QR code on the back of their college football jerseys. I think that the NCAA should definitely come out with QR codes for college football jerseys for fans to start scanning and could scan during the game and take photos with. As we've all seen just recently that the U USF Knights have come out with a QR code jersey for their practice games. And I think that that's a cool, unique way and something cool that they came out with that I think that all college football teams no matter if you're Carolina Tar Heels, NC State, Georgia Bulldogs, Alabama, Maine, Maine Black Bears, Oregon Ducks, every team, whether you're even ECU, Pirates, every team should come out with a QR code for fans to scan at the football games, whether it's Meet the Team Day or a spring game such as they did like how UCF came out with. But I think that it's a cool thing to do. And obviously, it's easier to scan a code from the back of a jersey than to fumble through, you know, those menu guides and find your favorite players that are playing. Or even, let's say, you have a new player that you're interested in that being your new player. It's easier to just scan their code and find out what their bio is, what their social media handles are, as in this day of age with college football and college athletics, the NIL rules have passed where college athletes are able to profit and make money from social media, but also promote their own social media with the school's help. And I think that that's an easy way to find, let's say, your favorite players social media handles by using their QR codes. So I like the way that the Knights, the UCF Knights have come out with having a QR code for their spring practice jerseys for so fans can easily scan it, take photos with it. And I think it's unique and fun that I think that all teams should adapt that way. Such as, I think that they should have that even in games, where you can scan it during the games. Now, obviously saying, if you're sitting in the, let's say, 300 level or the 200 level, it's going to be a little harder to scan the QR code because you're up so high. But those people sitting in the 100 level, they'll have easy access to scan it, and it'll be fun to see I mean obviously you can still scan it when on the jumbo screen and that's something that I think the broadcasting should do is have it where it's just a slower broadcast where you could scan it if you want but I think it's fun and unique to have where college football players are able to promote their own social media using their jersey by using a QR code so, for example, seeing your favorite players from UNC, such as J.J. Jones, Sam Howell, Ryan Switzer, Marquise Williams, Drake May, having a QR code on the back of their jerseys is fun and unique, but also having where you have teams like NC State, Devin Lynch, and Ben Finley, along with a running back wide receiver Bradley Chubb when he was there having a QR code for him BJ Hill having a QR code for him when he was there having Duke Blue Devils players such as the quarterback the running back wide receiver defensive players having it ECU Pirates holding Holden Alt Alter and having let's say when Zion Jay Jones was there having a QR code for him. Georgia Bulldogs Stephen Bentley having a QR code for him. 
Jarvis Jones, Todd Gurley, Aaron Murray, Alabama Crimson Tide, Bryce Young, Trey, Trey East, Easton, Najin Green, having QR codes for them, having QR codes for UCLA players such as the quarterback, the running back, wide receiver, having Oregon Ducks famous players have QR codes. And it's just a fun way to also be able to promote not just the school, but even the players and their social media handles and grow that following and help them profit off their name, image, and likeness. And I think that that's a fun, unique way for college football teams to do it. And I think that all teams should adapt that, whether your teams like UCF who started their tradition or if your team's like Maine Black Bears, ECU, Hawaii, UNC, NC State, Duke, Georgia, Alabama, Florida, Auburn, and even having Missouri teams like Missouri Tigers adopt that tradition. And I think that's a fun and unique way and I look forward to seeing what the future will hold for having college football players have QR codes on the back of their college football jerseys. Thank you for listening to Brandon's, episode, Brandon's Sports Talk on should college football teams have QR codes on the back of their college football jerseys. See you in the next episode. Bye.